hello everybody uh, this is another quick uh, video about uh, a zero day exploit that was announced on last week on on the internet so I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly go through it and then do a proof of concept just to demonstrate uh, how this exploit can be how we can use this exploit uh, so I'll just share my screen so this this is the this is the what was on the news uh, new Windows zero day exposed as NTLM credentials and you can see that the date was on the December 26th uh, 6th of the 2024 uh, this is a new zero day has been discovered that allows attackers to capture NTLM credentials but so this 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 information as this exploit has actually not there's not too much information provided about this but when I was having a look online I found another CVE CVE 43451 and this this CVE was actually released in November 12 2024 so last month and and when I did a bit more research looks like this is pretty much sort of similar to this zero day that has been announced uh, last week and uh, there was quite a, a, a few comments on reddit about it so I'll quickly do a proof of concept on this exploit just to see how we can we can use it all right so as usual I've got my uh, my my um, Windows machine here, Windows Server 2019, and I've got my Kali machine on this side. So this is how we can use the, the exploit. So first step is to create a text file. So I'll just go into the desktop. Uh, if I go to desktop here, I'll create a new test, text document, new. And I'll open that. And this is what we put in here. internet shortcut and then URL equals put anything here so this IP here is the IP of our Kali machine which you can see up here and the next two lines is not really necessary but it's good for social engineering just to make the the icon look look real so Then we will save it as go all files. Uh, let's call it something like backup dot URL. All right, and then save it here and close this. So that is the file there. It looks it looks real. It looks like a folder, right? So this is how we and it's here on the desktop as well. You can see. So this is how. So we'll set up a responder on our on our on our Kali machine. So sudo responder. I've just do. Oh, I've lost my. Let me just restart the the Windows machine. The RDP. Just restarting it because it dropped out. Probably something to do with my internet. It should be coming up. Oh. Uh, sorry, I had to reset my RDP, so I'll just do the responder again so the responder i'll do the verbose mode verbose mode sorry uh sorry it's running on four, four i'll stop the service running on 445 clear so the system stop smdd and then run responder again 
and it's all listening so this is the file that we created you see as soon as i just right click on it you should see some you see some ntlm hashes come through on this side it will come through until yeah just ignore the http but just look at the so you can see the ntlm hashes here as well if i try and drag this and put it into this temp folder you should see some action on the left hand side yeah you can see i'm sure you can see the this changing yeah and then again if i click here where, where we place the folder again since it's on the temp folder here so we'll if we right click again we should see some action here yep you can see the ntlm hash is coming through ignore the http and it'll stop once this pops up and again if we try actually if i just click on it just one click you also see the ntlm hashes as well coming through so you don't really need to right click as soon as you just click on it it will pop up now what do we do with this ntlm hashes we can't use it for pass the hash but we can try and crack it so i'll do that just that so i'll copy this file this whole string here i'll copy that and if i i'll just go to my folder cd port 24 uh, i'll do i'll create a file called nano backup dot hash just call it any file i'll dump that there and if i do a card backup That's the file there and then we can use hashcat to try and crack it so hashcat this is the mod this mod here is i think if i go to hashcat yeah i'll quickly open up on a web browser hashcat mod ntlm v2 Uh, you can see you use hashcat the mod is 5600 so let me just open this anyway the mod is minus m uh, Let's see if I go hashcat. NTLM. Yep, you can see here NTLM v2, the mod is actually 5600. So we'll do that clear. Hashcat. Hashcat. and 5600 force and then I will change this to backup with hash and we are using the rawq.txt to brute force so if we do that and So it's running and give it a bit of time we'll see whether it'll pick up the password still running it's 
still running. And this is why you should always use a strong password. Here it is. So it's got the password as oh, I know nothing. And if you want to confirm that this is actually the password, if I So this is the username john.snow and this is the password I know nothing which we can see from hash cut is I know nothing here and if we do that we should be able to get an RTP there you go so that's it that's a quick one uh, I think there is a patch for this one, which was on that CVE. So I'll open that. This CVE, I think it's been patched, but this is one of the reasons you should always use a strong password and always patch up your computer or your windows. So that is it. And thank you for tuning in. Cheers. Bye.